settle in with the breath, and everything else around you, you just let go. Even other things in the body. There's going to be warmth in the body, coolness in the body, whatever. For the time being, just put it aside. Just think breath, breath, breath. We have to learn how to keep our minds on one thing. Because otherwise they go straying out and they can cause all kinds of trouble. It's like a student I know one time, he was out camping with a dog, and the dog went straying around. And all of a sudden the dog came running back, and then one went running past him, and then there was a bear right behind the dog. And he realized, well, he shouldn't have brought the dog along. And it's the same with our thoughts. They go straying around and they bring back trouble if we're not careful. So you have to have a place where it's safe to stay, and you're not going to be influenced by the thoughts. Because some of the thoughts we think of are things that we intend to think, and others are just random stuff that comes out from our past karma. You have no idea what that's going to include. So you have to have a safe place so that you're not pulled away by these things, or they don't pull bad things into you. So make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath, and try to get as interested in the breath as you can. That helps you to stay here with a sense of firmness and a sense of, interest, a sense of wanting to be here. So think of all the things the breath can do in the body. The breath energy can flow all kinds of places, around the nerves, around the blood vessels, down through the muscles, through all the organs of the body. Think of it refreshing the entire body as you come in and go out. And that way you can follow it through. And as you follow it, you find that other things will come up and they, you can just let them fall away, fall away. Because as long as you have something to hold on to, you don't have to go around grabbing at those. For most of us, we're at sea, and anything that comes by, just we just grab right onto it, good, bad, indifferent. You want to find something good to hold on to, something that you know will float, that will take you to safety. And so the breath is one of those things. So learn how to get interested in it and learn how to follow it as consistently as you can, for as long as you can. Because this is a skill that will come in handy. As aging approaches, as illness comes, even as death approaches, you're going to find the mind jumping all over the place. Your thoughts will jump over the place, but you don't have to jump after them if you've got a good place to stay. And so the breath teaches you, okay, this is one thing you're going to hold on to. And it leads right back to your present awareness. And your present awareness is where you're really safe. After all, at death, the breath will leave you, but you'll still have your awareness. So make sure it doesn't get pulled out in places it shouldn't go. And learn to teach it good habits from right now. <laughs>